the Reese brothers, Ryan and River. You know, they're really good at lifting everybody's spirits. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't help the dad jokes. Anyway. last request <laughs> just kidding per your request many of you requested that I check out twin paranormal and you know what I'm glad I did because these bros are funny AF I was dying they had me dying okay their humor is just like mine which is hard to come by because everyone's so like sensitive I guess oh <laughs> these two and even Wyatt can't forget him I liked watching them in the one video that I watched for you know the reaction video that'll be coming out next Thursday we're gonna start talking about uh, any abilities maybe some issues Anything that I picked up, essentially. So, you know, I started with River. Love that name, by the way. Um, I wish my mom was a little unique in the name of my name because I'm just saying there's a bajillion of Emily's out there. Sorry, mom. Okay, right off the bat here. When I was channeling with my blindfold, I got an image of the root chakra card that I have in my deck which tells me he is very active with that chakra which you know I was also getting earth energy as well I don't know I just know my fellow earth people he's not a Capricorn I knew that I just knew he was one of the other two um, so yeah, next thing I saw was a skeleton. Don't know what that has to do with him because I don't know anything about them. I saw a thick wooded area, a butterfly with an intricate pattern in the wings, and I kept feeling like he has sensitive eyes and they're sensitive to bright colors and light. I don't know if there's something going on with that, but I also wonder if that's like a clairsentient thing too, which I did pick up by the way. He is clairsentient. And I'm wondering too if he gets migraines a lot, which is kind of part of being clairsentient because you know we're picking up all this energy and our body isn't transmuting it fast enough and boom, headache. But also, I feel like he can sense the energies around him and so he might be more sensitive to negative energies which could give him a headache just like me. I did see a lot of leaves which was another indication to me that perhaps he is an earth sign. Okay, other things that I noticed. I kept getting Wicca or witchcraft symbols and I'm gonna be the first one to tell you. I don't know jack shit about Wicca or witchcraft. I don't consider myself to be a witch, although I know some people may consider me to be a witch, but I don't like labels, so I don't consider myself to be a witch. Um, yeah, I kept getting Wicca and witchcraft symbols, and I had to, you know, once I was done with both of them, I had to go in and see if I could find them on Google to see what the heck they mean. And let me tell you, that was a difficult task and it took me hours. That's why it is taking me so long to get these videos out is because these guys are into Wicca and witchcraft. They are probably, wi I mean, I would consider them to be witches, but again, they could be people like me that don't like labels. So. 
all I can tell you is they're into that kind of stuff just based off of the way spirit was relaying messages to me so if they see this video or if you guys partake in Wicca or witchcraft please let me know what these symbols mean and if I got any right or any wrong and if I got any wrong I'm sorry correct me teach me whip my ass into shape please but uh yeah one thing I did see I saw this beautiful scene and I'll show you my little sketch but essentially I'm in like this area where there's a tree there's a little path to the left of it and hanging from like what looks like the sky because I only have like a view for like part of the tree trunk and I can't see up all the way I just see like these strands of jewels hanging from either the tree or the sky but they're glistening in the sun and there's hundreds of them in various colors and they're so sparkly and pretty OMG it is such a beautiful sight I wish you guys could see this in like the same exact way that I saw it but essentially it is this image here it's like I'm walking in some mystical like land with all these sun catchers they're so pretty I do see a gold colored elephant with like rhinestones of different colors and it's more of an elephant head than just like a full elephant. I know like gold elephants can mean like luck and you know elephants have many meanings. I don't know if that means anything to them specifically or to you guys who watch their videos if there's any references to like a gold elephant. I don't know. This is where I start getting head pain again. Um, I see an alligator. I don't know why. You know, now that I think about it, I should probably Google what, you know, alligator spiritual meaning is. Spiritual meaning. Strength, adaptability, patience, balance, and wisdom. Clever cunningness. Okay. Unless they have some kind of reference to alligators in their videos. I don't know. Burning eyes again. And you know, that could also be fatigue because when I was channeling, I was like, Spirit, please don't let me fall asleep. I want to stay awake. Show me their fatigue in another way. And so perhaps that is the other way. But that makes sense because if he's clairsentient, He's going to be extremely affected more so than most people. And, you know, negative entities are, I guess, are more easily um, able to mess with his energy or feed off of him. And because he is a bright light, they're going to feed off of him anyway. Plus, when you go into investigations... Uh, they're looking for energy. So like when you say, hey, hit that button, hit the REM pod, make the music box go off, talk into the spirit box or whatever. They need energy. And a lot of times they take that energy from the people they are closest to and that will be the investigators. Ooh, one thing that I felt that I haven't felt quite before was like burning on the top of my head. It was strange because it felt like I had acid on my head and I was like, what is that? Um, don't know exactly what that is, but I do know I never felt that sensation before channeling for another person. So here are some symbols I got. Hopefully I don't, you know, knock this off. We going this way. I think, where am I? Okay, wrong finger, but the money one, that one I was able to find, like, pretty easily. Uh, the one 
with the four little petal looking things in the circle in the middle. Not quite sure what that is. The one towards my pinky right here. Again, don't know what that is. And then the snake around the cross. It's giving me Full Metal Alchemist, not gonna lie. But I don't know what that means. But Wicca symbols, witchcraft symbols, maybe even alchemy symbols. I'm not sure. School me, guys. School me. We learning this together. Just kidding. Okay. Um, I do see this. And I'm not saying it's a demon. I'm just saying it looks like a demon. But this demon looking thing that turned into a dragon, but the long serpent-y kind, like my tattoo, how it's like a serpent. Okay, that's like, eh, bad angle. But you know what I mean, right? It's like that kind of dragon. A noodle boy, if you will. I suspect... It might be hanging around him. I don't know if it's playing the role of a guide or an attachment. It was not clear. And I'll explain later as to why when we get to the attachment section of the video. Ah, uh, ba da ba boo. Uh, yeah, he is very mindful of Earth and its creatures. Oh, I do feel a sensation on my back and it's like something is trying to hide because it's like I'll feel it and then it's like gone and I'm just like it feels like it's playing hide and go seek it feels on the lighter end though um, not only is he Claire sentient but he is Claire cognizant and telepathic now he might be telepathic with his brother or those close to him but I feel like he's got some telepathy going on. But that could be part of the Claire Cognizance. So I feel like those two kind of go hand in hand. And da 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 da. Spirit made it clear. They're like, hey, don't overwork yourself. Take care of yourself. Regain your energy. Like, take time to rest. Like, you guys are constantly going, 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 and going. You need time to recuperate. Yep, that's it for River. Next, we're gonna get to Ryan. Also Earth Energy, cause he's a twin. <laughs> so they would have the same birthday. Uh, ba -da -ba 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 -da. And I also wanna state this, both of them seem very good natured. I don't get any like bad vibes from them in terms of like personality and who they are as people. I think they're pretty cool dudes. Okay, one thing that kind of alarmed me was one of the first things I saw with Ryan when I was doing my blindfold channeling, I saw him with blackened eyes. Now, I don't wanna be like, oh, maybe he was possessed at one time or had like a really bad attachment at one time, maybe when he was younger. But one thing that did pop up too was Ouija board slash spooky games that was probably a bad idea to play. And maybe that has to do with something in his past. And because he's a twin, I'm not sure if it's him experiencing it or if it's him looking at his twin brother. Because I'm not going to lie, they look exactly alike. The only reason I'm able to tell them apart is because of their hair. I'm not gonna lie, I'm terrible with names. I'm terrible with knowing who's who. Even if you're not twins, I'd still fuck it up, probably. Let's be real. Now, with the blacked out eyes. Yeah, I was like, it could be a memory of the past. It could be something that, I don't know, maybe they experienced in a dream or astral projection or something. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but guys, if you know anything about that, let me know. He too practices Wicca or witchcraft, and there's definitely a lot of magical energy going on between the two of them. Also got head pain, but, you know, I'm not surprised. 
I keep seeing vines of ivy. Uh, ba -da -ba. Oh, I kept seeing the pentagrams, both the regular one and the upside down one. But a lot of times when I see pentagrams, it always flips around and spins. And so uh, I did hear rich, I'm rich. I don't know what that means to them. Again, burning eyes. Again, I'm wondering if this is another fatigue thing or if it's more eye sensitivity. Oh, I saw the bottom half of a being wearing like these genie or harem pants that were gold with either like this dark navy blue, almost black pinstripes. And this being was barefoot and had nothing like on the upper half of him, but it was a him. But I'm going to say this. The last time I experienced a being that refused to show me uh, the rest of itself, right? It was not good. However, I'm not going to apply each uh, situation and generalize it. I'm just saying from experience. And this isn't probably the f fourth or fifth time this has happened to me the four times that it's happened to me yeah they were not good this time I don't want to take the jump and say it's not good but I suspect it's not good but without further information I don't want to like make that a conclusion uh, I did see a witch is not of protection and that is a symbol of folk magic how to look that up because I again no idea oh I saw his spirit guide and she is beautiful and I will put that up in the video somewhere because I AI rendered it and it looks just exactly like her. So we'll be using that image in here somewhere. But essentially she's got soft light brown hair with pink flowers in it and you know she's just beautiful female giving wood nymph vibes because they're earth energy so it makes a lot of sense then and you know with the random like voices I was hearing I'm wondering too if I'm getting interference from other like spirits and earthies trying to hijack my channeling to get their shit through it's very possible but I heard she got the Oscar pretty much and then I see this woman in a white dress running I don't know what to do with that information. I don't know what to do because when I was channeling uh, for the next video about the Diablo's Asylum, friggin' Dylan Round's name pops up. So I'm pretty sure that might be interference, but at the same time, I don't know. Let me know if you guys know anything about that. I do start feeling a weight on my left shoulder blade. Uh, yeah. And then I see these three symbols. One, I can't for the life of me figure out what it means. I've seen it before multiple times, but I can't figure out what it means. The second one, the one in the middle, I think it means safety, but I'm not sure. Again, couldn't find exactly the way I drew it. And then I found the one on, at least looking in my right, the circle with the little slices wheel of the year that was pretty easy to find but uh yeah let me know guys what you think have to block out something where my middle finger is so i'm sorry <laughs> yeah okay let me know if you know what the diamond one is and what it means because it's driving me crazy Oh, um, Ryan, he is about to go or is currently going through an awakening. If he's not going through an awakening yet, he will be pretty soon. He is empathic and claircognizant. 
But I also wouldn't be surprised if he was also clairsentient like his brother. I think once he hits his full awakening, he will have like that as well. Like he'll have all three of those like pretty good, pretty good. And I forgot to mention, but yeah, River is pretty, pretty awakened. Uh -huh -huh. Oh, Spirit is trying to nudge Ryan into the correct direction and he needs to trust his instincts more. If he feels like he should be doing something or notices a certain situation, idea, thought, etc. that keeps coming to the forefront of his attention, that spirit saying he should probably do that thing, and the fact that it keeps coming back around, that's them giving him multiple chances. So, Ryan, if you're, you know, in a situation that keeps coming because you're like, oh, I can't do that, or oh, one day or whatever, that spirit's saying, my good sir, um, we have an opportunity for you. Or there is a growing lesson, life situation, development thing for you to do. Ta-da. <laughs> One other thing that they wanted to point out was be mindful and sensitive to how he relays any bits of information that he gets. So they make hilarious jokes. But there's some information that should be conveyed more in a sensitive manner. And this isn't me nitpicking, because, like I said, I got dark humor. I got no problem with how they delivered their information. But Spirit's like, mm, could probably do a little better with that. And who am I to argue with Spirit? Spirit knows best. And people kept asking, what about Wyatt? So I included him in this. And, oh, Wyatt, by the way, is Claire cognizant. I'm pretty sure. Now to the attachment part of the video. So the thing with attachments. So these boys, these guys, put up some sort of, like, protection magic to block people from looking into things that they deem as private. So, while I do technically know whether or not they have an attachment, I'm not allowed to say. And, you know, there's this thing as mediums, there's permission that we have to abide by. We can't just, like, get information when we want to. If someone doesn't want that information out there, they have every right to their privacy and spirit will stop us. They stop me from digging too far. So, but also they did put some kind of like um, magic protection thing on themselves too. So you, they can't get hexed or cursed or anything along those lines. So with these three... <sighs> yeah, can't tell you if they have an attachment or not. Sorry. I know so many of you wanted to know, but I must adhere to the privacy in terms of the information that they want to keep secret. So hopefully y'all respect that and know it's not me trying to gaslight anybody. No, because I know a lot of you wanted it. I can't do it. I can't, I can't tell y'all. They don't want me to. I am just going to leave it there. I will say that I love their humor. And like the Foreman Brothers, I'll probably continue watching their content because of their humor. But also because, at least in the one video I watched, they didn't fake it. And I like when people don't fake their content. Because... It just shows that they're legit. So I guess I will be leaving that here. Let me know what y'all think. Please leave your thoughts, comments, concerns down below. Maybe help me decipher some of these like symbols. That'd be great. And I will see you next Thursday with 
the video reaction might do something in between then I haven't decided yet but again thank you guys for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button you guys are super special awesome and I will see y'all again soon peace out home slices